Hello, welcome to Tech Janmat. In this session, we will discuss about a process through which we can read the physical file data into CL program. So before we discuss about the program, let me show you the data that we are going to read here. So for that, I am running strsql command and I will write a query select star from my library name is sharmit1 and my file name is emppf which is employer pf okay so in this physical file I have five records uh, name uh, like there are two columns employee id and employee name so this data we will try to read into cl program okay so for that we have to create one program so I have already created that program so let me show you that so here in this program firstly we are declaring one variable named as loop this variable we will use for the uh, for the looping purpose okay and the type of this variable is logical so here we are using logical build uh, logical variable why because we just want to uh, set the value as a true like we will try to run a infinite loop which will always be a true condition which will uh, always be in a true condition so I'm taking f4 here so this is the loop variable it is of logical type so in logical with uh, variable we don't need to pass the length and decimal position we have to just simply pass the value and the value we can store here is either 1 or 0 so we have stored it now we have to declare the file which we want to read so for declaring a file in CL you have to just simply write this DCLF and then take F4 so once you take F4 you will be reached to this screen where you have to specify the file name so in our case we are using EMPPF file and library name so this file resides in Sharmit1 library so I have specified the library other fields are like for record format if there is multiple record in a file and you want to read for the particular record format then you can specify it here but these uh, remaining thing uh, we will discuss in the upcoming session for now we are just reading the basic file uh, using this dclf command so we are just declaring it and for reading we have different command okay so th this uh, remaining part we will discuss in the upcoming session so yeah now we have declared the file now the next step is we have to run a loop so that we can read all the data from the physical file okay so for that I am uh, running a loop with do while iteration okay so you have to just simply write do while then take f4 and in this condition you have to pass the condition so we uh, we want to run it for a uh, multiple times mean infinite time until or unless we exit the loop so for that I am just passing my logical variable here which is loop so if we are not passing condition and we, we are passing variable directly then it means till this value is true it will be going to iterate the loop so we have started it now inside this loop we are using rcvf command which is mainly used for reading the data from the file so once this line is executed it reads out the first data from the file and we, we want to read all the data from the files that's why we are running this command inside the loop so one by one it reads all the data and then the, this data we are printing with the help of sndpgmmsg command so here on line number 24 we are using sndpgmmsg command you have to just take f4 here after writing this sndpgmmsg and here inside the message or text field you can pass your variable which you want to show to the user so this is the file field that we have read from the file so I'm just uh, passing it and this is a numeric field so we can't uh, display the numeric field here in CL so we, for that we have to convert it to the character so we have converted it with the help of percentage care built-in function okay and below to that we are uh, we are using uh, the SNDPG MSG command again for printing the employee name which is also retrieved from the file okay in between these lines of code we have one commented line here which is uh, for some purpose like I will firstly show you without this line and then we will show how we can use this line okay so for, till now I hope uh, the code is clear firstly we have declared the variable then we have declared the file and below to that we are running a loop infinite loop which will be uh, like 
true in all condition and then we are using rcvf command to read the data and then we are printing the data with the help of sttpgmvsg command so let's try to see the output so this program will get compiled successfully but it will not like while calling this program it gives some error so it is compiled but if i do call it gives the error the program is failed okay so what is this error so to check the error you have to place your cursor here and then press f1 so this is the error which has been come because of the end of file detected so here you can see it is the end of file detected so what happens like whenever in enough of file we have five data so it reads first data then second then third then fourth and then fifth after fifth there is no record so at that time this error got generated like end of file is detected now the file is ended so f to recover this issue or to resolve this issue we have to use one command which is mon message which is mainly for handling the errors so let's see how we can use that command okay so yeah i'm opening this program again in edit mode and this is the command that we can use to resolve this error why i comment this so that uh, you can understand what exactly the error we are getting if we try to uh, run the rcvf inside the loop for all the records without leaving the loop so this error will come if you are not using this mon message command now we are using mon message command so you have to simply write mon msg then tick f4 so once you take f4 it will ask you for the message identifier so on the same screen you will find this uh, the one uh, like if you call this program and if you uh, got the error then there is one uh, message id given on that error which is cpf0864 okay so this error message id will be trapped with the help of mon message command so it will give this uh, it once this error occur it will simply go and leave the loop okay so command to execute we have passed as leave so whenever this error generated it is leaved okay let me show you that message id again if you haven't seen like there is an other way also through which we can find out all the message id at once but right now i'm talking about this id so here you can see that cpf0864 okay this always comes when the end of file detected so this is this id we have got from that screen there is other way also through which you can find all the expected command from uh, expected message ids or error ids for a particular command okay so now what will happen like once this error got trapped inside the mon message for this particular error id it will be simply leave the loop it leaves the loop loop okay so once it leaves the loop then there is no issue and it will not break the program flow so let's try to compile it again so i'm calling it so yeah it is now working we got the first record its name second name third name fourth name fifth and its name and if i do page down here it will show last record in the file so this will be the last record okay so this is how we can utilize our cvf command for reading the data from the physical file inside the loop and there is there are other ways also through which we can read the file for uh, inside the cl program like most of you have seen some uh, sessions or some content on uh, internet uh, where we are using the go to statement for reading the data so that is the old uh, way we although we will discuss uh, discuss that process also in the upcoming session but if i, I would suggest you to go with this uh, looping uh, process through which uh, we can easily read the data okay instead of uh, using that go to old way okay so this will be the more beneficial for you so you can utilize this uh, way and it is quite simple you have to just simply declare the variable declare the file then you can uh, run a loop on one condition here we are using the infinite condition and it only breaks when this error occur until or unless it will until or unless this error occurs it will uh, process and once this error occurred it leaves the loop simply 
so i hope this is clear and in the upcoming session we will discuss more things about uh, reading the file so yeah that's all for this session thank you and thank you for watching tech share with